No, Gemma, I am not. I'm not running away. I've got a family crisis. But you don't have a family. Yes, actually, I do have a family. Thank you very much. Somewhere. And James has been asking after you. Oh, has he? Well, I'm a little preoccupied, actually. Oh, OK, then, sure. I have a little bit of business I need to attend to. Not quite sure how long it'll take. All right, see you then. OK. anyway. It's a joke. It's just a joke. We have you staying for four days. Yes, I think there's been some kind of mistake. You see, I booked a spa retreat. No, 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 not quite. You booked our SPA retreat. That's the special paranormal activity package. I'm sorry, the, the, the what package? Well, it's just a title, really. We book you in and then we let the castle and Spencer Dulsley do the rest. Guest, Daisy Jones. We've been expecting you. What has fresh blood to make up numbers? Dear Colonel Leash has us playing Scrabble. He's very good. Well, I'm sorry, I don't do Scrabble. <laughs> Come on, I'll introduce you. Oh, sorry, hold on a second. I'd like you to meet Agatha. Oh. The Colonel lives here. Imagine. <clears throat> and this is Jennifer Stobbs. She's from... Cleveland, Ohio. It's great to meet you. I'm here with my shopping buddy, Mabel. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um, why don't you join us? Maybe later. For art, the mini bar. Ah! Ah! Oh! oh no. Oh, how awful. What happened? Well, if you must know, a psychotic hairdresser from hell happened. Oh, why else do you think I'm hiding away here in this madhouse? I know someone who can help you. Her name's Francie Juddle. She's the local witch. Comes from a long line of gypsies. That's twice. Double trouble. Listen, I'm not into all this mumbo jumbo. I'm here for hair tonic. I have a little problem, you see, with my hair. Well, I think that one speaks for itself. Sex? The lovers is not just about sex. There is someone, though. Is there? Really? Is it... Does it say who? Ask it. Ask it. Does, is it a card marked Mr. Wright? You'll know. It's all about intuition. Oh. Apply the hair tonic every night before bed. 
That'll be 80 quid. 80 quid? Are you having a giraffe? Take it or leave it. Doesn't bother me. I won't be losing my hair over it. Raisin? Yes. Inspector Jessup. Oh. I believe you discovered the body. That's right, I did. Now tell me, have you spoken to any of the other residents yet? Was Francie wealthy? Was anything missing from her caravan? What time did you visit Mrs. Juddle's caravan? Uh, midnight. One-ish. Don't know. Hard to be sure. And why did you go there at that time of night? Well, uh, I'd been having some nightmares. Big horses running at me with bulging eyes and husbands with scissors, sort of thing. And what's with the disguise? Oh, uh, Are you wearing a wig? You're very perceptive. I am wearing a wig. And it is a little complicated, if I'm honest. Well, it's not exactly conventional behaviour, is it? No, I grant you that. It's not conventional behaviour, and I can see where you're going with this, but I'm hardly likely to have killed Francie, am I, and left my fingerprints all over the caravan and then called the police, am I? <laughs> I'll have you know, where I come from, I do not commit murders. I solve them. You'll have to stay here for a few days, all right? Mrs. Raisin! <sighs> Looks like there's been a murder somewhere else for a change. Oh, sir? Where? That's Agatha. Don't be daft. You're obsessed, you are. What? No, look, that's Agatha. It is as well. Oh, yeah. Police in Wakadden are investigating the death of a woman known locally as a witch. Uh, suspect, Mrs. Agatha Raisin. Agatha wouldn't commit murder. Not without us. She needs help. Well, she's eccentric, but I wouldn't go that far. No, she needs our help. No, no, a copper in Wakadden. I'll see what I can find out. I'm going to call Roy. James, what are you going to do? Find her. She needs me. Yeah, keep your eyes to yourself, mister. I must say, there's been quite a rush on today. Murder is clearly good for business. Everyone's in the dining room. <laughs> May I introduce you? Hello. Hi. We're on honeymoon. <laughs> and I'm just down from London with my new boy, Jim Bob. From Texas. Howdy. So why did you go and see this so-called witch in the first place? What are you even doing here, Agatha? Research. Roy asked me to do an article on castles. In a wig? Castles? I thought you said you had a family crisis. Yes, I do. I, I did. Look, what's with the questions? 
need to get to work. We need to get you home. I'm not allowed to leave. We need to clear my name, which means we have to investigate. Bill, come here. Now tell me, what do you know about this murder? Well, um, the motive seems to be robbery. Apparently, the victim's sister said she kept a large amount of cash padlocked in a metal box. They found it discarded in the woods this morning. The murder weapon? Large wooden object. They're still looking for it. OK, so tomorrow we talk to everyone. Roy and Jim Bob, you take the Colonel. What about the other guests? We'll figure them out one by one. As for the staff, they're even weirder. Right, well, I better go. Oh, on our wedding night? Well, it's not really, though, is it? And um, I have to be at the station first thing. Oh, poor Jim. I think she was rather hoping that something might happen between her and Bill. Night. The course of true love never did run smooth. Well, I bloody well wish it would. Do you? Yes, I do. For them, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. No, actually, for everyone. It's just so, oh, so tiring being single. There's no certainty in anything. God, how lovely would it be just to be certain about things? You know, someone to share things with? Somebody that you could count on? You can count on... us? Yeah. Well... Here we are. Yeah. Here we are. I'm glad you came. Yeah, me too. Right, well, better get some sleep. That is, if I can sleep in this big place with all this spookery and murder. <laughs> Evening. Evening. Agatha bothers me, really bothers me in a way no one ever has. She completely does my head in at times, most of the time, actually. I find her infuriating, insulting, completely contradictory. And she's on my mind all day. I think the problem is, if I'm honest, I just hate it all to go wrong. What if we don't really know each other? How can you tell if you really know someone, if you can trust them? Let's face it, me and Agatha are never going to just casually date, are we? It'd have to be all or nothing, wouldn't it? Don't you think? What do you think? Roy? You know James was pining for you, don't you? As soon as he saw your picky in the paper, he couldn't get here quick enough. Yeah, he's probably just bored or something. Uh, well, the police didn't waste much time getting out of here, did they? I've got a bad feeling about this. Aggie, do you think there's any truth in the gypsy curse stuff? No. Oh, look. It's a sign that we should go. It's a message from Francie. Mm -hmm. This card was in her hand when she died. Follow your intuition, she said. Yeah, mine's saying we should leave. <gasps> oh, look. They've all been here. Colonel Leash in to discuss his liver. I thought he looked like a drinker. Daisy booked in for a seance. What's that on about? Oh, a bunch of crackpots. Jennifer Wartz. Oh, Mabel Darcy Palm reading. Claude, the creepy manager. Oh, doesn't say what he's in for, but it's Claude, so the list mm. could be endless. Mm. Hang on. What's that? Agatha Raisin, brassy cow, hair tonic. It's all right. Well, if you must know, that's why I came here. I had a little problem with my hair in that it was 
falling out and I didn't want anyone to see me looking like that. Oh, by anyone, you mean James. That's why you left the village, innit? You're obsessed as he is. Don't be ridiculous. <sighs> Who are you and what do you want? I was a friend. Well, not really a friend, exactly. More of a... Client. So, um, she got ball patches. Just here to pay our respects. Snooping through my sister's things. Oh, Francie, was your sister? Well, in that case, I'm very sorry for your loss. You see, we're just trying to find out who did this. Why do you care? Because I do. Because Francie meant a great deal to a great many people. And whoever did this is still out there. And she did her hair for her as well. Right. Well, I don't need help from the likes of you. Francie will tell me who killed her. Francie will? Because... How, exactly? I'm psychic too. And when Francie comes through to tell me who did this, I'll wring their scrawny necks with my bare hands. And I'd beat it. OK. Hey, come on, Gemma. Run, run, run! Look, you see this ceiling? This is exactly the kind of thing I would love in our bathroom. What's up? Yes, you're not from Texas, are you? Oh, are you kidding me? Oxford, actually. It's just a little game we play. Keeps people on their toes. Uh, bad accent? Hmm. That and the fact that I was in counterintelligence. MI5. So I pick up on the little things. Hmm. And how's the liver? As in my vital organs or what we're having for dinner. Hmm. No, both are fine. Good. Shame about that witchy woo woman, wasn't it? Did you know her? No. He's lying and thinks we won't realise. Come on, we need to rattle his cage. Do you, um, fancy a game? <sighs> oh, damn biscuits. This place certainly does make everybody jumpy. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Us? Oh, we're both just such big fans of your English literature. Isn't that right, Mabel? Sure is. <laughs> ah. Scrabble, ladies. Colonel thought you'd never ask. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Right, come on. Come on, Gemma. Let's see what books they were looking at. Medieval section. History. I think she was looking at that red one. You got it. Malleus Maleficarum. The Hammer of the Witches. Gemma. It's all about witchcraft. Knives. How many times? All right, all right. Jeez, who rattled your coffin? And please do something with your hair. Good morning, ladies. Tell me, Francie was known as the Witch of Wickhaddon. Anybody else around here into all that hubble bubble toil and trouble stuff? Not that I'm aware of. You went to see her, though, didn't you? You're in the appointment book. That's private. She was a friend. I'd known her for years. Before she took up clairvoyance, she used to work in the kitchen here. 
until she realized that she was, in fact, clairvoyant. <laughs> Turns out she was rather good at the psychic stuff. Ask Daisy. Daisy, I want to thank you about Francie. She didn't have to do the trick with my hair. How did you know she was so good? I come here to mark the anniversary of my husband's death. He died in a car crash. We got married here, so the place is full of happy memories for me. <laughs> and Francie reassured me he was OK, told me things she couldn't have known. She was the real deal. So why do you reckon someone would want to kill her, then? Maybe that's why. Because she was genuine. Maybe she knew someone's deepest, darkest secret. Extra 50 if he goes out first. If. You were good at this. I am. <laughs> Why would Leash want to kill Francie? Possibly because she knew something about him. She had some secret that she threatened to reveal about him. Maybe he's not even MI5 at all. James, you could use your army pass to check him out. I can try. He's definitely got anger issues. Yeah, alcohol issues, if you ask me. Did you see his DTs when he was playing the game? <laughs> well, I think they're all dodgy. And those two are clearly up to something earlier in the library. That daisy is too good to be true. Chloe. Yes. Look at her. Daisy visits here every year on the anniversary of her husband's death. Does she come at any other time for you? Uh, Easter's and bank holidays. And come to think of it, she was here last Christmas. Oh, thank you. Do you please excuse me? Well, that's an awful lot of grieving. <laughs> well, she doesn't look very grief-stricken to me. <coughs> Mabel. Hey, come on. Disappear. I felt the need to pay my respects and thank the Lord for the precious gift of life. Please join me.
Good morning. You're all right. Just sleep well. Yeah, never mind all that. Listen, I think we should have a see or see thing. You know, try and get Janine to contact her dead sister. You have got to be kidding me. You don't believe in any of that, do you? No, well, I don't believe in any of it, but the killer doesn't know that, does he? Or she? <coughs> All we've got to do is just get in there and sit around the table and get Janine to do her thing, whatever it is she does, all that. Ooh, is anybody there? You know, see who squirms. Why are you doing that face? It's a genius idea. Two hundred quid. What, to contact thin air? To bring the spirits through? Yeah, it'd be cheaper just to go the off-licence, get a load of vodka. Takes a lot out of me. It's a lot in my pocket, if you ask me. Do you want me to try it or not? <laughs> Did you get anything on leash? No record that I could access. At least not in the public domain. Which means he's a fraud. Or genuinely a spy. I've got a friend in counterintelligence. I could try him. Yes, do that. Okay. Something's not right. Daisy's all over him, and yet he can barely look at her. <laughs> oh, me, oh, my. How very exciting. We couldn't agree more. We're hoping that someone with a connection to the castle comes through. Highly unlikely. Hi. Oh, hey, hi. Yeah, I thought I'd sit out that seance nonsense. It's not really my scene. So, what? Sitting alone with the rest of the ghosts is? Ghosts? This place is haunted by the ghost of a bastard Earl. I know. I've seen him myself. dramatic. Please hold hands and keep holding hands. Whatever happens, the circle must not be broken. to come through. Something else. What sort of something? Gemma, you're crushing my hand. 
Sorry. What is that? I'm sorry. I heard a noise out there. I had to come in. Oh my god, she's dead. What? No one came in. No one went out. And we were all holding hands the whole time. I better call Inspector Jessup. Good evening, sir. Your officers have taken our statement, but just so you know, I'm DC Bill Wong, South Gloucestershire Police. If if you need any help. Well, actually, there is one thing. Your friend, the loud one. Rain her in, would you? Of course. I take it they're all in bed now? Yes. Worn out. Nobody broke the circle. So who did it? Could Leash have done it? I doubt it. Unless we're saying he's a silent assassin trained to kill with one bare hand. Or mm -hmm. he was in on it with Daisy. So he could get up and stab Janine. I can't believe for a minute that the Colonel and Daisy were in cahoots. He barely acknowledges her existence. And Daisy held my hand the whole time. Gemma, you were beside Claude. Did he move? Bridget threw out. I mean, Jennifer could have let go of Mabel. She could have done the deed. She'd be strong enough. Hmm. OK, Roy, you check them out online first thing in the morning. We will go to the chapel. I have no idea what Mabel was doing in there, but it wasn't just praying. In the meantime, I think we should all get some sleep. There must be something. Aggie, we've looked everywhere. I mean, short of digging up the dead. What are you doing? What you said. Digging up the... Look, Spencer Dulsley, 4th Earl of Wickhaddon, lived and died in this castle, 1436 to 1484. He's the one who's on the portrait. No, you've lost me. What if Mabel Dulcie is a descendant? She said at the seance that she wanted someone from the family to come through. So what, you think she's trying to trace the family tree or something? Oh, I think it's, it's way more than that. Jim, let's find that book. The witchy one with the hammers. Uh, medieval, top bit there. Ah. Right, Aye, that's the one they were looking at. But there was other stuff too, wasn't there? There was stuff on local history, genealogy. Oh, this one looks like it's been put back in a bit of a hurry. And it's got fingerprints all over it. The wick had a bloodline. A tale of adultery and gypsy curses. I checked out the Golden Girls. Nothing on Mabel, but get this. Jennifer Stobbs is a lawyer and her specialist field is... Inheritance. Got it in one. There are two lines descending from the fourth Earl. One questionable, one legitimate. Which I belong to. We believe we have a case that Mabel Dulcie here should inherit the castle from the present incumbent, who lives in seclusion in Barbados. So what about the dodgy line? The Earl had an affair with a local gypsy girl. Do Francie and Janine belong to that branch of the family? No, as far as we know, it died out. So why go and see Francie? A curse was put on the family, along with a prophecy. Harmony would be restored when the Raven took over. I have Raven-colored hair. Oh. So you went to see Francie and had her Read your palm, hoping for confirmation. And did you get it? We think she was a fraud. I take it that's a no, then. Mabel's lying. If nothing else, her claim on this castle is about as real as my wig. I guess they could have fallen out with the Juddle sisters over the prophecy. Oh, they're hardly going to kill them over that, though, are they? They might, if the Juddles were going to tell the owners what they were up to. There's more to it than that. James, anything? Just a couple of names of the illegitimate line. Bill, where have you been? The local police station. 
Apparently, they're closing in on an arrest. They can't do that. I think they can. They found the murder weapon that killed Francie. It was a rolling pin. They're hoping the prints on it match the ones they found on the knife that killed Janine. Oh, wow. Yeah, sounds pretty open and shut, doesn't it? Really, you think? Matching fingerprints on the murder weapons? No, that's too... It's too... Conclusive? Exactly. It's too obvious. Phil, why do you think that Jessup didn't interview you all himself? I mean, surely he'd want to see the whites of your eyes, check the cut of your jib, see who cracks under pressure. Well, we didn't do it. But he doesn't know that, does he? Well, he clearly had other lines of inquiry. And we know from the circle that it can either be Leash or Mabel Dulcy. So it must be one of them they're going to arrest. What, so smart enough to stab someone in her presence and yet stupid enough to leave fingerprints all over the murder weapon? No, we're missing something. What if there was someone else in the room? Well, there wasn't. There was no one there when the lights came on. Nowhere for them to hide? Roy, why did you come prancing in in a panic? Oh, uh, you know, waitress Carly. She told me about a ghost and I heard a noise, so I just went in. Uh, where? Here. I was hiding under the horse. OK. What did you hear? A kind of creaking sound and footsteps. Mm. What's behind here? A way in and a way out. Well, that certainly explains the gust of wind. So the murderer wasn't at the table. But who else is there? Carly. Carly Bridgman, you're under arrest for the murder of Francie and Janine Juddle. You do not have to say anything, but it will harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. It's not if right. You do say, I told you it was Carly. It no, it can't be. Oh, come on. Intuition, intuition. Right, that's it. This must stop. Please, gentlemen, please stop. There's something I must say, please. Don't worry, Carly, I shall deal with this. No, Jessup, I shall be speaking to Jessup, your superior. Jessup, this isn't right. Agatha, what are you doing? Please, this is police business. But it's not justice, is it? Why would Carly kill Francie and Janine? For Francie's money. Her fingerprints were all over the money box, the rolling pin and the knife. I helped Francie with her therapy, so of course I handled the box. And I work in the kitchens. And riddle me this, my little sunshine. What about Janine? There were ten people in that room when she died. And not one of them saw Carly. How did she get in there? Through the secret passageway. You know about that then, do you? How? It's my business to know. Oh, you see, I think you're barking up the wrong tree, mister. Because this is all about family trees. You see, I don't think that the illegitimate line died out at all. I think it lived on. Gizzup. Gizzup. Jessup. I think you're stating a claim on the castle, and Francie knew that. She found out your little secret, and you were worried that Janine was going to do that too. You don't know what you're talking about. The tarot card in her hand when she died. Justice. The last thing that Janine said in Francie's voice. Justice. It wasn't a request. It was the answer to a question. When I asked her who killed her, she replied, justice. Now, who represents justice? Tell me, why are you picking on Carly? Tell them, or I will. I'm trying to get to know this place. It's not really what I'm into, but it'll have to be. Carly is the owner's daughter. She'll inherit. Of course. The raven-haired one. 
all this way for nothing. You knew that, didn't you? Which is why you were trying to get her out of the way, to strengthen your bogus claim. I've had enough of this. <laughs> oh, we can't do this! Oh. But I can. Jessup confessed. Marvellous. What's she doing now? My contact got back to me about Leash. Something of an MI5 hero, apparently. Until yes. he lost someone in the field and suffered a massive nervous breakdown. Doesn't like losing as a result. You do know that Daisy's in love with you, don't you? Daisy? No, I don't think so. She's young and beautiful and I'm... Well, I'm not, am I? Oh, come on. What are you talking about? A lot of women find that laid-back military thing rather attractive. <laughs> you need to stop hiding and grasp the nettle. No, I, I, I don't think I can. Do it for her. You're not the only one that needs to move on. I missed you when you went away. Yeah, well, we know the yeah, reason... Just shut up and listen. For once in your life, just listen. I missed you when you went away. And it set me thinking. You are completely impossible. An infuriating, brilliant, frustrating, magical nightmare of a woman. So I'm getting mixed messages here. And I want you to be my infuriating, brilliant, frustrating, magical nightmare of a woman. Uh, and I, I know, I know it's crazy. I mean, we haven't even, we should have, but it's also so, so completely right, isn't it? Hang the reason. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> 